I'm just getting ready to do a quick project today. It's almost dinner time. I've got dinner going in the kitchen. So this has got to be quick. Um, this headboard right here. I made that 12 years ago when we moved into the house. And over time, <laughs> with Jin's work, he works with a lot of polishing dust. And it's like this reddish brown color. And what happens is you can't exactly get it all off like his body. So he, <laughs> on his side of the bed, there's like this big stain there that has been bothering me ever since. And I think it's time to get rid of it. So I've got, oh, <laughs> Libby was just in his, her underwear. Anyway, I've got this foam here. I'm gonna do a little bit of a makeover to it. Slap on some fresh, fresh fab fabric, fresh, fresh fabric, and um, hope for the best. So headboard is super simple to make. I just used a piece of plywood and then um, some batting. And see, there's plywood, some batting that goes across, and then I wrapped a piece of fabric. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god. Are you okay? No. <laughs> I can't even get You can see down there that um I didn't cover it all the way because you don't really see that part because it gets covered by the nightstand and the bed. So super easy. It's held up pretty well. I mean this part has unraveled a bit because the girls like to pull on this and land in the bed, so doesn't look that great there, but um, I have a little, I bought a little extra fabric so that I can, um, so that it will go over it a little bit more, so that it won't pop up like that. Okay, so this is how you do the corners. You basically just wrap it like a present. If you know how to wrap a present, you can probably do a corner. You First, you're gonna bring up the um, side here. And you're gonna pull it up fairly tight. This piece here, once you got it folded, you're gonna grab it, a little bit of the excess, and then form a corner. See, just like that. And you're gonna have this excess here, but before you staple, or once you staple this part down, you can kind of make it, manipulate it so that it looks a little prettier. Um, for me, I don't really care because it's the back anyway, no one's ever gonna look at it. But if it matters to you, um, you can, once this part is st stuck down, you can kind of tuck it in here or just trim it as well. That might be an easier way, but look how nice that corner is. It is super easy to do. So I ran out of staples and I didn't want to dig through gin stuff. It's very, very disorganized down there. So I'm just going to use a glue gun and no one. So I'm getting 
just gonna put a little strip of glue right there and then pull down on the fabric make sure it's nice and taut hold it there for a couple seconds and making sure that it's not bunched at the top so the fa so that the fabric um, doesn't gather up here you want it nice and smooth I just want to show a quick close-up video of the headboard. Um, the fabric is really, really nice. This is such good quality fabric. Um, it doesn't really, like it stays wrinkly, or stays um, unwrinkled, and it's got a little bit of a stretch to it, so it can move. It's not super stiff, and it's really um, like a smooth material I got from Michaels. Um, what else can I say? The foam was such a great addition. The or old one was just the backing and then batting, which is just some fluff, essentially. Um, and then I covered it with fabric with the old, the old one. But this, the foam just adds so much more dimension to it, I think, and just has so much more presence, even though um, it's at the same height. Because I actually had wanted it maybe a little bit higher, but with the foam, I don't think I need it higher. I think it just, it's the, the perfect um, height. And also I wanna show the bottom cause I didn't cover, I didn't wanna buy fabric to cover the entire board just because it would be a waste of fabric and because this fabric is expensive, um, you're not gonna see it. So I didn't see a point in covering from top to bottom. My nightstands actually just cover it. So if I move my nightstand, you can't even see it. So um, yeah, I could even actually have gotten less fabric to save money. So I just finished shooting photos for the new headboard that I made. And I just wanna show you a little behind the scenes of what happens during a photo shoot. Put up some props and they fell down. Um, these are temporary props. So I use tape. Um, Otherwise, I would, if they were permanent, I would use like command strips or something. Um, but they're temporary, so I just use tape. Um, I had a frame there, it fell down. Same with <laughs> another frame there, fell down. And I had to try out a bunch of pillows, take furniture and stuff from all over the house just to create the look. So nothing is ever perfect behind an Instagram photo. <laughs> But it was fun. The whole family got involved, helped me out. Um, yeah, so so I share that. A lot of manpower, woman power goes behind taking the perfect photo for the gram. And I don't normally have this many pillows on the bed. I usually have our sleeping pillows, which are right there, and then two larger ones to lean up against. Um, and these ones usually stay in the closet. Um, or I'll pull them up once in a while whenever I need them for props and shoots, that sort of thing. And this one goes on the couch or outdoors. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Missing the hat and the picture frames behind the lamps, but this is it. I love it. The color goes really well with the blue too. It's a nice taupey beige. It's not too warm. I thought it might make, um, might look a little murky um, with the white, but I think it looks really nice. Let's get a subtle pattern. 